Okay, so I'm playing this game. I'm right up to the point where I'm gonna take on the boss. I've been down this road before, mm -hmm. and I haven't succeeded. But this time, I'm feeling really confident. Yeah, I think I could do it this time. And just at that moment, I get paid. Oh, come on, really? Okay, okay, okay. That was a flashback from yesterday. Hi, I'm Tom Melendez. I'm a satellite operations wrangler controlling a small fleet of satellites taking ground images of Earth. As part of my job, sometimes I have to make remote software updates to these satellites, or even our ground control systems. I also manage the software and systems used to process our image data, along with a website that lets you see these images. Today, one of our satellites needed a hotfix applied right away. I'm going to show you how I used Ansible and Google Cloud Platform to apply this hotfix. Ansible is a simple to use and powerful IT automation engine that handles provisioning, orchestration, and configuration of all of your IT needs. And here to help me explain this is Dylan. He's a product manager at Ansible. Thanks for having me here, Tom. I'm really, really excited to see how you're gonna use Ansible to work on in a satellite. So the first part of patching a satellite is to make sure we have a good build and that we test it out. We're going to use my local laptop and Ansible to spin up a Google Compute Engine VM for this. First, make sure you have a GCP project, the GCE API is enabled, and a service account created with the appropriate permissions. Be sure to download the JSON credentials file. And then obviously, you're gonna need Ansible installed on your laptop. So we're gonna have you go to ansible.com and hit our get starting page to install Ansible by using the instructions there. Since I was paged, I'm going to get the provisioning, test, and push process started, and then we'll take a look at the configuration. I have an Ansible playbook I can use for this, and all I need to do on my laptop is type Ansible playbook push camera params. And while that's working, Dylan, do you want to walk us through the playbooks a bit? Yeah, sure. So an Ansible playbook is a human readable format to holistically describe an environment. Mm -hmm. In those playbooks, you have tasks that are by default executed sequentially in order from top to bottom, and those tasks call Ansible modules. And what modules are, are the toolkit in the language. They are what extends Ansible and the simplicity of the engine itself. So based on what I'm reading here, I see that you have a way for us to easily develop and test against a satellite. First, a GCE VM is being provisioned, and you're also pulling in some variables from external files. Mm -hmm which are allowing you to use those values without changing the playbooks themselves. Right, Dylan. We use that technique throughout our playbooks so they can be version controlled, as well as be used to build different environments. As you see in our GCE task, we wouldn't want to check in our credentials into source control. That would make the playbooks inflexible and possibly allow for misuse. And what are some of the other options that you're specifying here for the GCE module, mm -hmm. Tom? Well, we can specify one or more instances that we want to be created. Mm -hmm as well as their zone. We also are specifying an image, which in our case is a custom Debian image that includes our camera tests. And I also see that you have a post task to wait for SSH to come alive before moving on with the playbook. That's a really good convention to go with. Let's have a look at the playbook that runs the test, shall we? Sure, I'm really anxious to see what else you've written here. All right, so what we have here is a task that is being used to test some binaries, it looks like. You're running a command using the command module and pulling in some variables associated to hosts from various variable files. You'll see for hosts, we've explicitly set that value to the group name from the previous playbook. Okay, and then based on that, the nice thing is that camera test instances can be as few or as many hosts as you really need. So this playbook will only run those tests against the host that you specify. No change is necessary, that's pretty cool. Now assuming the tests have passed, we can actually push the camera configuration to the RGS, which will then send it to the satellite on the next pass. And to do that, it looks like you took advantage of a couple of community modules to write out that data, and you also have written your own custom module that doesn't come with Ansible to push the data to the satellite. Correct. Our updater code requires an any file. So we use the any file module to create it with our camera parameters. Then we created a custom module that validates the parameters and hands them to the binary, which submits them to the RGS, okay. returning to us the status and the encrypted string for debugging. Building the custom module was easy, and we just placed it in the library directory, and Ansible picked it up. Cool. All right, let's go back and step through the output 
from our Ansible playbook run. Yeah, let's do that. You can see that it did just what we expected. Mm -hmm. We used Ansible to spin up a GCE VM, run some tests, deploy a hotfix to our satellite, all from my laptop. Cool. And now you can get back to that game and beat that boss. I was thinking the same thing. Thanks for watching us today, folks. We'll be back soon to show you a few more fun things you can do with Ansible and Google Cloud Platform. Thanks for joining me today, Dylan. Thanks for having me, Tom. And don't forget to check out all of our Ansible modules at the URL below.